Good morning, folks. We've got a look at the sun and space weather, a bit of seismicity, a story on methane that no mainstream climatologist wants to hear, and an indication that Earth's weakening magnetic field is marching forward. Starting with our star, we have entered a more quiet period overall. Solar flaring is lower, no eruptive events aimed at Earth, with the coronal hole being most in focus. Only eruption went off the northern departing limb, and it was moderate at best. We will be focusing on the eruptive potential of the plasma filaments, including the southern rope cresting into view here today. These are the more likely CME makers for the next few days as sunspots are smaller and less numerous. These ropes present an ever-present eruption threat and have been releasing quite efficiently over the last several weeks, another day or two until that one faces the Earth. As for the coronal hole and expected seismic impact, two magnitude sixes in the last day, Hopefully that's all we'll get before the enhanced solar wind arrives Thursday night or Friday. Folks, we've got an interesting study here on methane. In addition to our long-standing argument that it isn't as scary as climatologists have implored, this new research explains how they amplify clouds that reflect sunlight back into space and help cool the Earth. They do continue to grasp at the blanket effect to counter the new discovery, but alas, as always, there seems to be more to the atmospheric dynamics than we've been traditionally led to believe. Today's top story comes from Dr. Phillips at spaceweather.com, who got sent photos of the red aurora visible from Florida. This was from the G4 storm event last week, and this is highly unusual. It hasn't happened since 2003 and before that 1989. Both of those were extremely severe solar events that caused that same level of disruption. The problem is, this latest one was not an extreme solar event, and even the equinox vulnerability can't explain the severity of the storm to this extent. The solar wind disruption was moderate at best, and the way it coupled and impacted the planetary magnetic field is simply absurd unless we have major problems with Earth's magnetic field. The biggest natural science story of our lives keeps quietly snitching on itself even as the mainstream still refuses to talk about it. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more about this event at the playlist links below the video. Check out our other resources as well. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.